Hello everyone, this is Johnny. Welcome to my YouTube NASDAQ channel. Today I'm going to show you one small trick I learned from my daily IT work. I got a challenge. How can I copy and paste the text to another machine? So I have multiple machines in my home and in my work. Sometimes I need to copy some text from one machine to another machine. I don't want to use an email. I want to be a fast way to do it. So here is one website I found, cl1p.net. You can use it free. So here is what we're going to do. Um, we can create it, uh, one link. Let's say we go and come here. We create creep. And we didn't copy anything yet, so I'm gonna paste a bunch of stuff to this website, and so and then we create a creep. So the creep has been created. So on another machine, we just need to browse this website, and then we can get this stuff. So this is incognito website. So basically, I can use an like a regular web page to try and retrieve it. Cl1p.net. Bump. It's just right there. Once you log in, once you type the link, and once you read it and then the message is going to disappear. OK, let's try it again. It's gone. So once you read it, the message is gone. So you don't need to worry about the message going to be viewed by someone else. So this is a good way. Another way. That's what I want to tell today. This is another way. As Google Chrome, they have lots of features. It's testing, not uh, public announced yet, not available directly to everyone. But you, this uh, remote feature available from Flex, Chrome, current slash slash Flex. So I already enabled it. You can enable remote copy feature to receive messages. You need to enable shared clipboard features to be handled. So uh, basically, you just search clipboard. You'll find that you'll search from here. So you'll find the three of clipboard related features. So you just need to enable first two. Enable remote copy feature to receive messages. Enable shared clipboard feature signal to be handled. I do so enable those two. So once you did that, for example, uh, of course you need to log in first. You need to log in and then you can start to copy to another machines. Uh, I'm using Hyper-V machine here as an example. I already logged in as a listen testing testing account. So in here we need to log in as a testing account as well. Sync between the account. Yes, I'm in. So we logged in here. Now we can see if we can copy to your device. So we can copy to there. Descending. And uh, we can go back here. Can receive the copy 
the information. So we can do it uh, in another way around. Copy and copy to your device. That's the one I'm using. And uh, then we receive, should receive it from here. Notepad. That's exactly we copied from our virtual machine and that we received on our host machine. Unfortunately, we still cannot copy the images. We only can copy text, but usually it's uh, enough for my use case. Uh, that's why I like to share with you these small tricks in uh, Google Chrome. Maybe it is helpful to you as well. Thank you for watching.